The answer is the requirements that uh, need to be uh, fulfilled for software pattern application to be protected in, in the different countries. The main idea is uh, that the software, the invention, have to provide an inventive contribution of uh, the, the prior art. You will not have this in the, in the, in the law or in the decisions. We will see always they think about further technical effect. Then uh, this means that you have to, to put in, in a scenario where you have to solve a technical problem. And you have to solve a technical problem or so you will use a program. From your perspective, in order to invention be patentable or be patent eligible, just need to have a, a differential technical feature in the claim and that differential technical feature should provide a technical effect and not be obvious. Otherwise, the, the claim uh, does not fulfill the novelty and inventive step requirements, okay? So that would be the main requisite that uh, software by patent inventions have to fulfill uh, in view of the EPO requirements. From the USPTO perspective, software is eligible if the invention uh, in this case as a whole, uh, is not an abstract idea, or if it's abstract, uh, that abstract idea includes additional elements that transform the abstract idea into a legible application. What that means? That means that uh, if we claim uh, our invention in a, in a broad and generic uh, way, uh, probably our, our claim will be categorized as abstract. However, if we describe and claim our invention uh, with significant uh, technical detail, that means with the steps, the algorithm or the process implements, our invention will likely uh, to be categorized as not being directed to an, an abstract idea and therefore uh, probably uh, categorized as patentable, as patent eligible, okay? So these are the requirements uh, in the of the USPTO. As we said, the other uh, patent offices like China, Japan, Korea, Canada follow uh, the trends of the USPTO or the EPO. In this case, for classifying malware systems, it's also a computer implemented method that lists a set of steps. In this particular case, the, the main uh, technical feature was the use of the fuzzy structures. So in this case, the method is also patentable, okay? But because the features were considered not involving an inventive step in front of the prior art, further features should have uh, to be provided uh, into the claim. The underlying features uh, were the features that in the end uh, gave the non-obviousness requirements uh, in order the claim to be potentable. You have to take into account that uh, how uh, commercial life of software does not stop at patent filing. Most often, new versions and developments, for example, by adding new function, occurs. In this case, this new function is probably not covered by the first filing. Then this means that it is necessary when you prepare the patent application, uh, the beginning, try to cover as many functions as possible, as possible, in spite they are not yet operational. This is very important. To take because we have put examples, but this is to take into consideration. You have to solve a technical problem, and all the ideas you have, trying to implement, trying to write in these ways, either as a method as a, or as a system, should be should be done. The system is, is is a system configured to implement the method, not more.